Hello, and welcome to 7 Ninjas Studios. Today we're going to be painting this termagant with a devourer from High Fleet Gorgon. You can see the High Fleet Gorgon colors there in the bottom corner. We're going to be using Militarm Green for the flesh, Nasdrag Yellow for the carapace. Now I do want to point out the official colors down in the corner. You can see that the carapace is generally a little bit more skeletal horde, but we are going to be using Nasdrag Yellow. We're also going to be using Basilicanum Gray for the devourer itself, and Blood Angels Red for some of the detail work. We're going to go ahead and just jump into that now. Like always, just sort of apply on a good thick coat, just like they advertise. One thick coat. That Militarm green is a beautiful, beautiful green, and that's going to give you just exactly the perfect color. This is the step in the project where we take our uh, plain white, whatever color matches the primer we've used. If you use Gray Sear or Wraithbone, then use Gray Sear or Wraithbone. I use a plain white primer, so I'm just taking a Reaper miniature solid white paint, and I'm going over the places where I, I got a little bit sloppy with that Basilica, or er, not Basilicanum Gray, Militarum Green. There's too many arums and anums. Now that that's done and had a chance to dry, it's time to go ahead and work on the carapace. We're going to grab that Nasdrag yellow. Again, if you want to be true to the color uh, presented, you're probably going to want to use Skeleton Horde. Um, and you don't even necessarily need to thin that down. Just a little bit of Skeleton Horde is going to be perfect on it. But I really like the way the Nasdrag yellow looks contrasted against that Militarum green. I think it's just a beautiful combination. Uh, and it's still very recognizably High Fleet Gorgon. So again, uh, when we're applying this, let's apply it opposite the direction of the scales so that the raised lip of the scale helps pull some of the paint off. That's going to help that contrast paint to settle in those recesses and crevices. And that's going to be really nice for us.
And now we're going to go over the weapon with Basilicanum Gray. Uh, there's no official color reference for what the weapons look like, but I just sort of assumed that Gray would match well and not clash horribly. And I really, I think it, I think it looks good. I think it works really well. Uh, you can obviously go with a different color if you don't want to go with the Basilicanum Gray, but I think it provides a nice effect and a good contrast to the green without being overpowering. And that Basilicanum Gray has had a chance to dry, and now it's time to go over and help pick out some of these details. Uh, we're going to have to go over th everything with solid white, because uh, as colorful and bright as the Blood Angel's Red is, the other colors, the Basilicanum Gray and the Militarum Green, are deep enough to really throw that off. So we're going to use a very fine tip brush, and we're just going to go in and we're going to color all the places that we want to cover with, with the Blood Angel's Red in a few minutes. Of course, um, while the official art has Blood Angels Red in the crevices on the model, you don't necessarily need to use the Blood Angels Red on the weapon if you wanted to use a different color, but I think tying it into the tears in the flesh uh, along the shoulders and thighs and things like that uh, really give it a nice effect. So we're just going to take a few minutes and cover in all the little things, and while we've got the white on our brush, we're going to hit the eyes and we're going to hit those teeth.
and now it's really starting to come together. The, this part's real basic. We just take that uh, same fine tip brush we used and the Blood Angel's red and we just go over everything that's white except the teeth. You don't really want to go over the teeth with Blood Angel's Red, although you can go over them with Skeleton Horde if you want to give that dirty I am a Tyranid and do not brush my teeth look. Uh, but now we're just going to go in and fill in those little details where the musculature and the tendons show through, where the pipes and the tubing uh, integrate into the arm and, and through the weapon and so forth. Uh, to my mind, this is one of the more fun parts of the process. So now we're going to pick up a little bit of this um, Nasdrag yellow and we're going to be go going over a few spots that we missed and need to correct. This is really just the cleanup phase of the model. It happens on every mini. No big deal. All right, everybody, I want to thank you guys for joining Team Ninja once again as we uh, painted our uh, High Fleet Gorgon Tyranid. Um, you don't have to use the colors we used. Uh, I gave gave better choices, like the Skeletal Horde is going to be a technically more accurate match to what's in the Codex, and you're probably going to want to go with that most of the time. But I really do like the effect the Nasdrag Yellow has. If you want to see me paint uh, the High Fleet Gorgon in the more Codex accurate uh, Skeletal Horde, let me know down in the comments below. 
Uh, don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying our content. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you want to, ring that notification bell. Join Team Ninja. I know everybody always says that. And don't forget to find us on Patreon. Uh, Patreon's going to allow us to make more videos faster and on a wider range of models and better figures. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to finish wrapping this guy up, finish the base, do the Aggrelin Badlands, a little bit of black around it. I hope you have a great time painting your army, and I hope this was able to help. You guys have a wonderful day.